For some reason, I identified with the drummer every time I saw a band. I don't really know why. I only knew what I felt, what my little heart was telling me. He was little Joey, he wanted to play the drums. And it's the one thing that has remained in my life over the course of the last 30 years. If musical talent were a desk, I'd bang him when I get angry. Joey Kramer has been the drummer for America's greatest rock and roll band for nearly four decades. That's almost 40 years. Whoa. <laughs> yes. And his band has sold a gazillion billion albums worldwide. I'm talking, of course, about the Bay City Rollers. No, Aerosmith. <laughs> but all the fame and success for Joey also meant something else. Drug and alcohol abuse. I know. Surprising. A rock star. Anyway, he details it all in his great memoir, Hit Hard, a story of hitting rock bottom at the top. It comes out today. If you don't buy a copy, you're probably a communist and you should be killed. We're delighted to welcome Aerosmith drummer Joey Kramer. He knows sweet emotion like I know hand lotion. So, how you doing? Hey! Yeah. Book comes out today. Where's the book party? I'm fortunate to have a, yet another comedian in my life. Who's the other one? Oh, uh, <laughs> my son. Ah, oh, that's yeah. good. So, how's it? The book comes out today. Uh, are you going to have like the a book The book actually comes out tomorrow. Well, you know what? The people at home think t today is tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, much the, for yeah. them. <laughs> you, yeah. You've destroyed yeah. the illusion. <laughs> now, now, I like this book because I, I, I did a lot of pieces and stuff about uh, rock stars who hit rock bottom. Mm. And I'm always dying to know, what was the rock bottom moment for you when you said, oh, God, I'm ashamed of myself or I can't believe I'm doing this? Oh, God. And you want that story? Yeah, as if it involves having sex with Bill. I've already been there. <laughs> well, I can't get any worse. So I'm looking at that as uh, fun and on the top. I tell you what, I'll, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead. You first. Um, I'm in an I'm in an office with mm -hmm. accountants, managers, the rest of my partners, and my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And we're having a meeting after I indulged for about four or five days in the old days of my addiction. Mm -hmm. And uh, I fell asleep during the meeting, right? Which yeah. is, forget about how rude that was to begin with. Yeah. But uh, I get a, a, sh a little push on my shoulder from my accountant saying, Joey, Joey, wake up, wake up. It's, you need to go find the men's room no. and take care of yourself. Oh. And so... Yeah, that is the most disgusting. That's a that's the call. That's the so that's call. the call. Are you kidding? That's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill just did that while you were telling yeah. the story. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up on our pants. Come on, PA. Oh, Bill, you were so five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was about two minutes ago, but it still happened. Oh Lord. But Joey, um, you know, the thing that I always find interesting is like, <laughs> the low, no, I'm trying to move away from the defecation. Uh, the, you, you were talking about the low point of your your life while still being in the biggest band on the planet. Mm. Now, most, pe it, most people would believe it's still worth it. The fact is, like, mo a lot of people would still trade their lives for yours despite the low points because the high points, you can't match the high points, the right? Hi the high points do outweigh the low points. I yeah. have to give you that. And the lowest point was probably when I was at a place called Steps where, where I was institutionalized for having a nervous breakdown in 1995. Mm -hmm. And I was at a really low point, so much so that I could barely talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could, I could whimper, they put me in my own room, mm -hmm. and uh, I was doing what they called flooding. My emotions were flooding. I, emotionally, I was completely bankrupt. Yeah. And I had nowhere to go. I, 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 I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't even talk. Yeah. And... Um, that was that was the lowest of the low. What was your, were you were you dabbling in a lot of different drugs or just the basic um, coke, heroin, uh, peyote, <laughs> or, uh, acid, ecstasy? My drug of choice was uh, <laughs> cocaine and vodka. Yeah. And whatever pills I needed to use to uh, bring me back down yeah. from from crashing. That's that's the whole that was the whole issue is that if you you uh, instead of staying sober you go up here and you try to get back down by doing something else. Well, you're, you're always constantly... looking for that perfect balance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That, that sweet spot, you know, yeah. which you find one time in the beginning and then you never find it again, <laughs> yes. but you continuously look for it forever. Yeah. Right. Now, um, before we go, I want to ask you, what can people find in this book that they won't find in other rock and roll memoirs? Well, the, the, uh, the thread, the continuous thread throughout the book is a very uh, time-sensitive subject that I, th I think, it, which is the confusion between love and abuse. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I, I had an abusive, you know, a bit of an abusive childhood via my dad, mm -hmm. and I transferred myself into a situation in my career where it just I, re I took my own place again in that family as I did in my family of origin. Right. And uh, you know, and there, and there was a lot of I allowed myself to get into some abusive relationships, and the book is about that mm -hmm. and the uh, the depression and the anxiety that comes along with that and uh, if you know my goal really is to help people mm -hmm. out and if I can help just a few folks out well then my goal is accomplished fantastic mm. well congratulations on the book well, thank and you. the career and I know and uh, and uh, Aerosmith is amazing transcends all trends punk rock grunge it, it doesn't all that stuff goes away but Aerosmith is always here all right we got to go hit hard a story of hitting rock